This is Lanier Smith from Sense Memory, and I'm going to tell you a story. Paris, 1921, dawn. The snow was falling outside, and it was a white coverlet that blanketed the Place Vendôme like a soft, wet whisper. Coco stretched and smiled, eyes still closed. She rolled over in bed and opened one eye. In the cool, steel gray light, the Grand Duke was still asleep. The beautiful Russian scent had permeated Coco's bed. She breathed in the aroma of tobacco. It mingled with the musky sexiness. He was delicious. She sat up in bed and looked around the boudoir, pulled her knees up to her chin and hugged them. A new lover. What could be more perfect this winter? She gathered the mink throw about her naked shoulders and rose like a sylph to ring for breakfast. As she passed a bouquet of African orange blossoms, roses and jasmines on the vanity, she noticed how lovely the scent was as it mingled with the trail of musky masculinity that flowed in her progress from the bed. It hovered near her cheek, daring her to kiss the air. Once breakfast was ordered, she turned to enter the bathroom. A glint of light from the foot of the bed snatched at the corner of her eye. The Duke's gorgeous noir leather boots were there where he had dropped them the night before, one upright, the other having fallen over on its side. Coco swept one up in her arms and held it like the most precious thing. The strong, masterly fragrance of the Russian leather embraced her. The room seemed to be swimming in leather and tobacco and some faint spices from the Orient that emanated from one of her perfume bottles. Odeur incroyable, marvelous rêve, she whispered softly. She dropped the boot and fell back into bed with him. She squinted and studied his profile. Then playfully she ran her finger along his imperial Russian forehead, over his nose and lips down to his chin. Wake up, Sherry, I have an idea. And that idea became Cœur de Russe by Chanel, created in 1924 by Ernest Beau. Uh, it was reintroduced into the Chanel exclusives line, and it was inspired, in fact, by Chanel's brief love affair with the Grand Duke Dmitry Pavlovich, who, as a matter of fact, was a Romanov on the run from the Russian Revolution, living in exile in Paris at the time. And he's most famous for actually being one of the two murderers of uh, Rasputin. Anyway, on with the, uh, the perfume review and uh, end of the history lesson. Um, uh, Chanel's uh, Cœur de Russe is a leather uh, perfume that is, uh, in my opinion, a, a, an incredible, incredibly beautiful uh, leather. It, uh, it opens like if, if you were opening a silver box lined with maroon velvet, and in there is this wonderful African orange blossom and some slices of mandarin orange and those are the opening notes that are so incredibly lush and beautiful. They quickly uh, sink into uh, the famous Gras um, uh, Jasmine which um, Chanel, only Chanel and Dior are uh, allowed to pick the, the Jasmine from Gras in France. So the only two companies uh, left who have that the right to use that particular jasmine, so um, that makes it very um, uh, beautiful. Uh, uh, and this jasmine uh, is blended in with a, a rose and a and a ylang ylang. Um, it may sound at this point very feminine, uh, but what saves it and makes it unisex or even leans more towards being very masculine uh, is uh, this polished rich leather note that is added into the uh, perfume and that is just it blends in with the the jasmine and the rose and becomes kind of intuitively um, masculine it it gives you the impression of a um, clean athletic body of a man or a woman who is um, very toned and in shape and um, just put on some 
really fine leather gloves or boots or jacket. It, it just has that great classic leather uh, feeling. And then in the, the dry down, you get your musk and um, a really crisp woody birch and tobacco and bergamot. So that even pushes it more into a, a really great masculine fragrance. But, you know, it was made for women and women, I've smelled, smelled it on some women and it works, well, it's gorgeous on them. It's just gorgeous. But on a man, it is spectacular. Um, it lasts about, I would say, six to eight hours on my skin. Um, and it has a great projection and um, the bu your, your, your fragrance bubble is, well, I, I would say it leaves a trail kind of like um, a, 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 a wake from um, a beautiful ocean liner, a classic ocean liner from the 30s crossing the ocean and the wonderful wake comes out behind and that's your scent bubble. Um, it's legendary, iconic, timeless and at the same time, extremely modern. It's one of the more modern of the uh, exclusive lines, I would say. Uh, and that's amazing, considering that it was created 90 years ago. Um, so this is Lanier Smith saying, Remember, wear what you love, not what they say you should like. I'll talk to you later.